George Kittle, born on October 9, 1993, is a prominent figure in the NFL, serving as the star tight end for the San Francisco 49ers. Renowned for his extraordinary athleticism and relentless playing style, Kittle's rise from the Iowa Hawkeyes to becoming a five-time Pro Bowler and two-time first-team All-Pro highlights his remarkable journey and unwavering dedication. Drafted in the fifth round of the 2017 NFL Draft, Kittle's consistently surpassed expectations, setting records and establishing himself as one of the league's premier tight ends. Soon enough, Kittle became the first 49ers tight end to surpass 1,000 receiving yards in a season. Yikes. Recently, Kittle's been going viral for a post-game interview in which he humorously shared his favorite WWE moves, endearing himself to fans with his larger-than-life personality. The moment encapsulated the blend of fierce competitiveness and charismatic charm that makes Kittle a fan favorite and a crucial asset to the Niners, which is why he was featured in the Netflix docuseries Receiver. Kittle's impact extends beyond his on-field performances. Nevertheless, his leadership and work ethic inspire both teammates and fans. Whether it's making game-changing plays or entertaining with his vibrant persona, Kittle exemplifies the spirit of football, embodying both excellence and joy in the sport. As he continues to make headlines and set new standards, Kittle remains a key player to watch, both for his athletic prowess and his captivating presence in the world of pro football. George Kittle's childhood laid the foundation for his dynamic personality and athletic prowess. Born in Madison, Wisconsin, he moved to Iowa at a young age, where he attended Iowa City West High School, Cedar Falls High School, and Norman High School in Oklahoma. From an early age, George exhibited a fearless, imaginative, and energetic spirit, traits that were nurtured by his parents, both accomplished athletes themselves. His father, Bruce Kittle, was a four-year letterman and co-captain of the 1982 Rose Bowl squad at Iowa, and later became a college football coach. Meanwhile, his mother, Jan, earned All-America honors in basketball at Drake University and is in the Iowa Girls High School Athletic Union Hall of Fame. A memorable childhood moment occurred when George, at just the age of four, danced down 15 rows at a University of Wisconsin football game, earning quarters from entertained fans. This early spotlight foreshadowed his future on-field charisma and enthusiasm. George's parents instilled in him the idea that fear should never be a driving force and that failure was merely a lesson. Moreover, they emphasized the importance of enjoying every moment, an ethos George has carried throughout his life and career. Bruce coached George during his high school years, witnessing a defining moment when George made an incredible catch during a game. This parental support and guidance played a huge role in shaping George's approach to football and life. On top of that, frequent family moves due to Bruce's coaching career taught George to adapt and connect with new people, skills that have served him both on and off the field. An avid fan of watching TV shows, Kittle is also an enthusiast of the Game of Thrones series. However, just like everyone else, he was quite disappointed with the final season and loves to discuss it passionately. Today, George Kittle is not only a star tight end for the San Francisco 49ers, but also a beloved figure in the NFL, known for his fun-loving attitude and genuine connection with fans. His childhood experiences and the values imparted by his parents continue to influence his journey, both as an athlete and as a person who cherishes the little joys in life. George Kittle's college career at the University of Iowa under head coach Kirk Ferentz was a period of significant growth and development. Kittle joined the Hawkeyes in 2012, with a limited role as a freshman due to the presence of Ray Hamilton and sophomore Jake Duzzi. His first collegiate reception, a 47-yard catch against Missouri State, hinted at his potential despite his limited playtime, finishing his freshman season with five catches for 108 yards. The 2014 season saw continued competition for Kittle with a crowded tight end unit, including Hamilton, Doozy, and junior Henry Krieger Koval. Consequently, Kittle's contributions were minimal, recording only a single 25-yard catch against Maryland. Kittle's breakout came in 2015 when his role significantly expanded. On September 26th, he scored his first collegiate touchdown with a 43-yard reception from quarterback C.J. Bethard against North Texas. That season, Kittle amassed 20 receptions for 290 yards and six touchdowns, ranking sixth in receiving touchdowns in the Big Ten Conference. His performance established him as a major player in Iowa's offense. In his senior year in 2016, Kittle became the leading tight end for the Hawkeyes, playing alongside Peter Picard and freshman Noah Fan. Kittle's best game came against North Dakota State, where he recorded five receptions for 110 yards. 
He concluded his senior season with 22 catches for 314 yards and four TDs. Over his college career, Kittle totaled 48 receptions for 737 yards and 10 touchdowns, showcasing his development from a supporting player to a key offensive weapon. Kittle's college career laid the groundwork for his professional success, highlighting his resilience, growth, and increasing importance in the team's offensive strategy. His journey from a limited role to a leading player exemplifies his dedication and hard work, traits that have continued to define his NFL career with the San Francisco 49ers. In the 2017 NFL Draft, George Kittle was selected by the San Francisco 49ers in the fifth round. George Kittle, tight end from Iowa. Welcome to the 49ers. 146th overall. Signed to a four-year, $2.69 million contract, he quickly earned the starting tight end position. Kittle debuted in the season opener against the Carolina Panthers with five passes for 27 yards. He scored his first NFL touchdown in a Week 5 game against the Indianapolis Colts. Despite a mid-season leg injury, he finished his rookie season with 43 receptions for 515 yards and two touchdowns over 15 games. The 2018 season was a breakout year for Kittle. In the season opener against the Minnesota Vikings, he recorded five receptions for 90 yards. In week four against the Los Angeles Chargers, Kittle had an 82-yard touchdown as part of a 125-yard performance. A standout game came in week 14 against the Denver Broncos, where he set a franchise record for receiving yards by a tight end with 210 yards in the first half alone. Kittle became the first 49ers tight end to surpass 1,000 receiving yards in a season. In the season finale, he broke Travis Kelsey's single season receiving yards record for a tight end, finishing with a total of 1,377 yards, although Kelsey reclaimed the record in 2020. Kittle's exceptional 2018 season earned him his first Pro Bowl selection and a rank of 29th on the NFL Top 100 Players of 2019. Score touchdowns, I get to do everything. What's up, baby? His dynamic performances and record-breaking feats solidified his reputation as one of the league's premier tight ends. Kittle is actually a funny guy, really on the field. You know, he's always talking. Will you just yell at me the whole game, please? I'm going to yell at you the whole game. Thank you. George Kittle's performance from 2019 through 2023 solidified his reputation as one of the NFL's elite tight ends. In 2019, Kittle started strong, earning the highest pro football focus grade in the NFL through the first four weeks. He finished the season with 85 receptions for 1,053 yards and five TDs, earning first-team All-Pro honors. In the NFC Championship, his crucial fourth down catch against the Saints set up the game-winning field goal. Kittle also played in Super Bowl 54, contributing four receptions and 36 yards in a narrow loss to the Kansas City Chiefs. In 2020, Kittle signed a record-breaking five-year, $75 million contract. Despite injuries limiting him to eight games, he managed 48 receptions for 634 yards and two touchdowns. His resilience and skill earned him a rank of 50th on the NFL Top 100 Players of 2021. The 2021 season saw Kittle battle injuries again, but still secure 71 receptions for 910 yards and six touchdowns in 14 games, earning another Pro Bowl selection. He also made his first career postseason touchdown during the 49ers NFC Championship run. The 2022 season was remarkable for Kittle, setting a career high with 11 touchdowns despite missing the first two weeks due to a groin injury. His chemistry with quarterback Brock Purdy was evident, particularly in weeks 15 and 16, where he scored multiple touchdowns. Kittle ended the season with 60 catches for 765 yards, tying Brent Jones's franchise record for Pro Bowl selections by a tight end. In 2023, Kittle continued to excel, becoming the fastest 49er in history to reach 400 receptions. He recorded three touchdowns in a Week 5 victory over the Cowboys and nine for 149 yards in a Week 8 game against the Bengals. Kittle's season concluded with another Pro Bowl selection, breaking Jones' franchise record and earning first-team All-Pro honors. He finished with 65 receptions for 1,020 yards and six touchdowns, despite a shoulder injury in Super Bowl 58. He also underwent off-season surgery by a core muscle injury, resulting in a significant weight loss of nearly 30 pounds. Just recently, Kittle's contract was restructured, reducing his cap hit for the 49ers and showcasing his commitment to the team's financial health and future success. Throughout these years, Kittle's consistent excellence, resilience, 
and an ability to deliver in critical moments have made him an indispensable asset to the San Francisco 49ers, securing his place as one of the top tight ends in the league. The competition between George Kittle and Travis Kelsey for the title of the best tight end in the NFL has been a hot topic. Heading into the 2024 season, some insiders suggest Kittle might have the edge. An NFL personnel executive told ESPN's Jeremy Fowler that Kittle's more explosive than Kelsey at this stage of their careers. Kelsey, who turns 35 in October, faced questions about his performance throughout the 2023 season. He averaged a career-low 10.6 yards per reception, had his fewest touchdown catches since 2016, five, and failed to reach 1,000 receiving yards for the first time since 2015. However, injuries played a part as he missed the season opener due to a knee issue and dealt with an ankle injury by week six. Despite these setbacks, Kelsey performed well in the postseason accumulating 355 yards in four games and catching 20 of 21 targets in the AFC Championship game in the Super Bowl. On the other hand, Kittle has had one of the best seasons in 2023, setting a career high with 15.7 yards per reception, the highest among NFL tight ends, where no other tight end averaged even 13.0 yards a catch. While Kittle might not match Kelsey in terms of high volume receiving due to the 49ers wealth of offensive options, he remains a major threat to any defense when targeted. This dynamic allows Kittle to maximize his explosive play potential even with fewer opportunities. As the 2024 season approaches, the debate between Kelsey's consistent excellence and Kittle's explosive impact continues. Kelsey's ability to bounce back from a challenging 2023 season is gonna be closely watched while Kittle's performances will be critical in maintaining his status as a top-tier tight end. The competition between these two elite players showcases their unique strengths and solidifies their positions as the NFL's best at their position. George Kittle, the San Francisco 49ers star tight end, is known for his trash-talking prowess both on and off the field. Dallas. A notable instance occurred during the 49ers' dominant 42-10 victory over the Dallas Cowboys in Week 5 of the 2023 season. Kittle wore a shirt under his jersey emblazoned with F Dallas, a move that garnered significant attention. This act of defiance, shown in the Netflix documentary series Receiver, highlighted Kittle's unabashed confidence. Despite knowing the potential consequences, Kittle didn't shy away from his decision. How much of a fine is that? 15? He asked his teammates, referring to the expected penalty. Ultimately, Kittle was fined $13,659 for the shirt, but he remained unapologetic. I don't regret it one bit, not one bit, and I might do it again given the opportunity, he stated firmly. The incident sparked a series of reactions off the field. Cowboys pass rusher Micah Parsons addressed it on his show, The Edge with Micah Parsons, suggesting Kittle made things more personal than necessary. Parsons hinted at future retribution, saying, Laugh now, cry later. We've got something for that. Just trust. If we see him again, just trust. In response, 49ers wide receiver Debo Samuel retorted up and Adams, emphasizing the rivalry's intensity. It was already personal before the game started. 42 to 10, I don't think you want to see us again. It might be a bit worse. Kittle's trash talking is not just bravado. It exemplifies his competitive spirit and psychological strategy to unnerve opponents. His willingness to engage in such antics, even at the cost of fines, underscores his fearless and unapologetic approach to the game. This aspect of his personality not only entertains fans, but also solidifies his role as a fierce and formidable competitor in the NFL. George Kittle's vibrant personality is an integral part of his identity, both on and off the field. Known for his infectious energy and humor, Kittle often lightens the mood during intense moments in games. Purdy acknowledged that while Kittle's fun-loving nature can sometimes be annoying, it ultimately helps ease the tension and bring a sense of perspective. Kittle's ability to keep things lighthearted is crucial for the 49ers, who benefit from his positive outlook and enthusiasm. George also follows a three-hour pregame routine involving meditation, salt baths, and visualization, as well as the ritual of receiving letters from his father before each game, which helps him get into the game mindset. However, his playful attitude extends beyond game day. Kittle is known for his lively presence during practices and team events, ensuring his teammates stay relaxed and motivated. This dynamic is especially valuable in high-stakes scenarios, such as last year's NFC Championship against the Eagles, where Kittle's encouragement helped maintain team morale despite challenging circumstances. 
off the field, Kittle's fun personality continues to shine. He often engages with fans and participates in various community activities, spreading his positive energy and making a lasting impact. George Kittle is a major player in the annual Tight End University Summit, which he started with Travis Kelsey and Greg Olson. The event brings tight ends from all over the NFL together to share tips and boost their skills, showing Kittle's leadership in the game. George Kittle, the San Francisco 49ers standout tight end, owns several luxurious and high value items that reflects his success both on and off the field. In May 2020, Kittle purchased a sprawling 75 acre property in Green Hills, Nashville for $940,000. The property includes a four bedroom house and a personal six hole golf course, inspired by Kittle's love for golf and watching the Masters Championship. Kittle's impressive car collection includes a 1969 Ford Mustang, known for its classic appeal and top speed of 128 miles an hour, and a Rolls-Royce Ghost, a symbol of luxury and performance, with its 6.75 liter V12 engine delivering over 540 horsepower and a price tag of $311,900. He also owns a Range Rover sports car valued at $209,990, known for its sleek design and off-road capabilities. In addition to his real estate and car collection, Kittle has a penchant for exclusive and high-end fashion. He has been seen wearing a unique edition of classic Nike SB Dunk Lows and Air Jordan 1 cleats and shoes during San Francisco 49ers playoff games. His collaboration with Chubbies has led him to their sport-exclusive t-shirts, adding a stylish yet casual touch to his wardrobe. Kittle's taste in luxury extends to his home, automobiles, and fashion showcasing a blend of sophistication, performance, and personal passion. These expensive possessions not only highlight his financial success, but also his diverse interests and appreciation for quality and exclusivity. George Kittle, the star tight end for the 49ers, shares a heartwarming personal life with his wife, Claire Kittle. Kittle pursued her for so long that his love for Panda Express's Honey Sesame Chicken was in danger. The couple met during their freshman year at the University of Iowa in 2012, where Claire was a basketball player for the Hawkeyes. Their love story began when George, captivated by Claire's presence, struck up a conversation with her about her bright pink moped helmet. Although it wasn't love at first sight, George's persistence paid off, and after eight months in the friend zone, they began dating. Their relationship blossomed over the years, leading to a memorable proposal on August 10, 2018. George orchestrated a surprise proposal under the guise of a photo shoot for NFL couples. Despite a knee injury that could have derailed his plans, George's mother helped maintain the ruse, ensuring the surprise remained intact. The proposal took place at Santa Cruz's Twin Lakes State Beach, where George's heartfelt proposal left Claire ecstatic. Before the wedding, Kittle decided to permanently etch an image of Ledger's Joker sitting in a jail cell from the film on his forearm. Upon telling the bride-to-be his plans, Kittle said, I thought she was going to stab me. Claire, a former basketball player and current bodybuilding enthusiast, has always been George's biggest supporter. She attends every game, home or away, offering unwavering love and motivation. Even during challenging times, such as the 49ers loss in the NFC Championship round in 2022, Claire remained a pillar of strength for George. Beyond his athletic achievements, Kittle's deeply involved in community service. He's participated in various charity events, hospital visits, and fundraisers. He also established the George Kittle Foundation, which focuses on providing opportunities for underprivileged youth through sports and education. George Kittle's journey in the NFL has been nothing short of remarkable. From his standout performances with the Iowa Hawkeyes to becoming a key player for the San Francisco 49ers, Kittle's consistently proven his worth as an elite tight end. Known for his impressive athleticism, Kittle combines raw talent with a fun, engaging personality that's made him a fan favorite. His dedication to the game, coupled with a lighthearted approach, has not only endeared him to his teammates and fans alike, but also established him as a pivotal figure in the NFL. As we continue to follow Kittle's exciting career, don't forget to like, comment, and hit that subscribe button for more updates and insights into the world of football. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with fellow football enthusiasts. Thanks for watching. Thank you. I enjoy that.